Here's a cheap guitar amplifier. I found it on the street, brought it home, plugged it in, and it worked. But not as well as I would have liked. It was very distorted, although it was more than loud enough. I read up about these amplifiers. A lot of them are built down to a price and have compromises, like the power transformer may be too small for the output power, the speaker might not be good enough, it might use a cheap amplifier IC, and other reasons why these can be pretty distorted. Distortion appears to be a built-in feature, and when you press this drive button, it brings the levels up with even more distortion. As I've described in earlier videos, here's a simple transistor amplifier. Probably not quite as loud as the guitar amplifier, but as you saw demonstrated, it sounds very good. So what I'm going to do is to rip out the original amplifier. I'll keep the speaker, I'll keep the box, I'll keep the power supply, but hopefully we'll get some better audio from this discrete component amplifier. Also, as I'm not drawing as much current, there should be less strain on the power supply, so that's another source of distortion removed. I've taken all the parts off the board and then added some new ones because um, there are spots in the board for the diode so, so I put them back to where they were. I've kept the LED, that's just the on indicator. This is the external speaker uh, connection and that has a switch inbuilt when you plug that in otherwise when there's no external speaker then the internal speaker is connected in so I've left that as it is um, I have made a few changes like you can see the underside of the board is a bit untidy there's a few parts there because the way the tracks went didn't quite suit the parts being put on the top side of the board but the main thing that's new is I've got a 7812 so that makes this supply a regulated supply instead of the unregulated before and I've also got some bigger electrolytic capacitors another thing you'll see is I've cut out one of the connections from the power transformer I've slightly modified the power supply circuit. I think previously it gave you plus and minus voltages, which makes sense given that there was an op amp earlier in the circuit. That was an audio preamp, which I've removed. And so I've just gone back to having two connections from the transformer. Uh, you can see the wires there. I'm just using the outer two. And having a look at the voltage on the transformer, it's upside down, but you can see it there. Two lots of 9 volt AC, so it's about 18 volts uh, secondary. It will be over 20 volts, probably 25 volts on the DC side of this bridge rectifiers, which is these four diodes here. And so that provides enough leeway for the 7812 voltage regulator. You can see I've improvised a bit as to the holes. And I've got a couple of circuit board pins for important connections. There were previously bass and treble controls. I'm not going to have that. I'll use the holes instead for DC output connections. The idea is that not only will this be an audio amplifier, 
but it will also be a regulated power supply. Fairly low current, it will only put out about one amp, but it could be handy for powering other radio circuits that I want to test in conjunction with this audio amplifier. There's this push button switch. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with it because I didn't want to use it for its original function. But anyway, I've put a capacitor here. It's uh, 33 nanofarad and I've got that shorting the input connection. The idea of that is to provide a bit of a top cut control. If I press the switch in, then that will put capacitance across the input that will attenuate the higher frequencies. So that could be useful to give a bit of a roll off, which is handy, especially if you're using unselective receivers. So a very crude audio filter. Not sure if I've got the capacitor value right, but I've got the option to easily change it if I want it being on the underside of the board. This control here, the 50k is the volume control. I've connected everything up, looks a bit untidy, but let's turn it on and see if it works. Behaving as an audio amplifier. But just adjusting the volume control, even with the volume set to nothing, there's still significant hum. How do I fix this terrible hum? This is connected to ground. And if I short that to the case of the potentiometer, then that reduces the hum by about 90%. Just made some changes made some connections more direct and I think it's a little bit quieter but still not really satisfactory. Shorten the wires a bit more and the hum is a little bit less. I've just got a connection here, this is quite a long wire from a another earthed part of the circuit. And when I put it there The hum is a little bit louder, so it seems that we might have an earth loop that's making the hum louder, and that can be an issue, especially in the presence of AC current like we have here. I further reduced the hum by improving the decoupling in the first stage of this audio amplifier. Previously, there was just a 6.8K resistor from the collector of the audio preamp direct to the supply rail but what I've done I've put in an extra resistor 1k that goes from the supply rail and then at the junction of that and the 6.8k resistor I've got a 220 microfarad capacitor to earth that provides a bit of extra isolation and thus reduces the hum because the first stage is the most sensitive to hum pickup. I reduced the 50k pot in the input down to 5k and that has reduced the hum considerably by giving it a lower impedance input. Although maybe some losses but the amplifier's gain is pretty high so I don't think that will be too much of a problem. The hum goes down to basically nothing if I turn it all the way down. 
Another thing is if I unplug the input connection, the hum drops dramatically as well. Even when you pick up and rattle the cord, it's a bit of microphony there. So, yeah, in practice, I would use a much shorter and possibly better quality cord than this, as it is picking up something. And the exposure here is probably not helping either. As for the power connections, I'm getting near enough to 12 volts, and this will be regulated. So this will be okay if I'm connecting it to other items like a low power receiver that I want to test with this speaker. I've tidied up the insides, replaced the lid, so the amplifier should now be ready for service. And if you wanted to make it even more versatile, you could add a 12 volt DC input socket here as an alternative to operating it from the mains. That would be especially useful for portable work. So that's our look at our converted guitar amplifier. Have a look around. Maybe you've got one. Maybe you've found one. Maybe there's one cheap at a ham fest. Either way, consider its usefulness with a little bit of work as a handy utility amplifier. Roger, roger. You are 5'9 and running 5 watts. 5 watts QRP. Over. Okay, great job for 5 watts and uh, 72 degrees for the call. Right, it was great to work. QRP, QRP, 5 watts. I am QRP, 5 watts, 73. 